Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is me in Aquarius reading, January 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Aquariuses out there. This is not gonna be every single Aquarius story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with, okay? And um, I still have some of these uh, crystal chakra bracelets available on my Etsy, which is linked on the community tab. And I'm still going to do the weekend, the 30th and the 31st. They should be posted in a few hours. I'm just doing these for now. So Aquarius, January 2021. You versus your person, Aquarius, January 2021. One more shuffle, Aquarius, January 2021. Well, with all the chakras I keep seeing, you've released attachments and you're just going with the flow. That's what the crown chakra has a lot to do with. Yeah, so you could have started your self-love journey um, going towards the things that you're wanting. Let's take a look, Aquarius. Sacrifice, yeah. You might have sacrificed a lot. You know, you're sacrificing your old self. You're giving that person up because you develop mental clarity on what it takes for you to be successful, which is probably having a lot to do with throwing the old you away. That's the hardest part you will ever have to do in your spiritual journey is throwing the old you away. Um, as for your person here, they could be doing a lot of resting and rejuvenating, a lot of isolation right now, working on their obstacles and any challenges that they have in regards to like finances, debt, bills, and payments. <coughs> Let's, excuse me. Let's see Aquarius. January 2021 Aquarius. You versus them, Aquarius. Two more shuffles. January 2021. See, Six of Pentacles. You could be working on relationships that are balanced. Um, equal give and take. Six of Cups. Okay. You could be missing someone, a past person uh, that could have heard, heard had you in a third party situation. See, two of pentacles, you kind of be sacrificing a lot. Like you have a lot of responsibilities right now. A lot of debt, bills, payments, fines you have to make. And with the king of wands, like that's like that's totally what you're up to right now. With that king of wands, the king of wands is someone who's goal oriented and not afraid to chase their dreams and, you know, their goals. So that could be you right now. You know, you're like, yeah, I have a lot of debt, bills and payments, responsibilities, but I'm challenge accepted you know you're like ready to to um face those things meanwhile king of cups your person i feel like this distance is making them realize how much they love you you know maybe you used to help this person take care of their responsibilities their bills and stuff like that and now it's like this person eight of swords you know because they're having a hard time while well, they're remembering you they're thinking about you See, judgment, this person, you could be going through karma or just, you know, you're going through ultimatums. Um, I feel like that judgment energy is you judging yourself because, like I said, you wanting to throw away the old you and become born again. It's like born anew. Um, King of Pentacles. You could have be dealing with more than one option right now. Or this could be just you, like I said, where you're throwing away the old you and you've realized now what it takes to be successful and that's kind of the you know where you're going towards meanwhile your person i feel like the, this distance made them realize they love you they want things to change ace of pentacles they're seeing you as a blessing because they're going through a hard time and before i don't know if maybe this was you who was very generous you used to give them you know money to the point where i would kind of sabotage you but I feel like they're having a hard time now and they're thinking about you. Four of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with Twin Flame. Long-term relationship. If you don't know what Twin Flame is, that's okay. It's normally like an on and off relationship. Yeah, so in this time that you're judging yourself, you're, being, you're actually very patient. Um, and you're protecting your heart right now. Um, because you're not trying to repeat any old cycles. So, what is the Two of Pentacles, Aquarius, January 2021? Nine of Wands. 
See, it's like right now you're going with the flow and you might be juggling right now. Yeah, I feel like you're entertaining more than one person right now, Aquarius, with that Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. But, I mean, you're focused on work. You're focused on something long-term, though. Um, okay. So, what is this Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius? Queen of Pentacles. So... You guys could just be focusing on working on yourself. What is the Eight of Swords, Aquarius? January 2021, Eight of Swords. See, your person, they want to offer you something, but at the same time, they're hoping to manifest you offering something. Aquarius. So again, I feel like some of you guys might have more than one option, but I feel like you guys are kind of testing the water, trying to see which one would be like a long-term person, you know, which person could be long-term, you know, it's like you're still hopeful and keeping the faith. So what is the sacrifice card and the, so yeah, you might have sacrificed your old self, the devil. You threw out any addiction toxic patterns, anything that just wasn't serving you so you could have something long-term. Something that is stable, that can actually lead to marriage even. So I feel like your person, they're thinking about you because they're going through some hard times and you could just be focusing on taking care of yourself. They could even, with the pentacle there, be wanting to like propose to you some sort of engagement. Let's see, Aquarius, January 2021. See, honeymoon. This is a balance of emotions moving forward in a positive direction in your life. Aquarius, January 2021. Uh, tell me more about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. January 2021, Aquarius' is person. Very soon. Yeah, see, your person needs to clearly decide what they want so that it could come to them. I feel like, you know, they weren't really ever sure if they wanted you, but now that you guys are separated and they're having a hard time, you know, they're kind of deciding, like, you know what, I miss this person, and, you know, why wouldn't I want them if they actually help me out whenever I have a hard time, you know? So now it's just a matter of they need to decide they want you, and then they need to go ahead and make their romantic gesture and expressing that they do want you. You know, I feel like this person tended to always... Um, even if you had addiction issues, you know, even if you had some sort of substance abuse problem or just, you know, uh, hooked on money, hooked on TV, hooked on food, you know, whatever it is. Um, I feel like, you know, this is something that you've come to the conclusion, like, you know what, I now know, um, you know, that's not helping me. So it's like you're, you're moving forward in your life in a positive direction even if, like I said, you have those issues, like, you're still a good person. Um, and this person still sees you that way. Even if you have those issues, you know, you meant well, you know. You could still handle your responsibilities and stuff like that. And I feel like now it's just a matter of, you know, you're working on self-care. And they want to offer you something because it's like, even if you had those issues, you know, you were still a good person, you know. That just could have been, like... You know, it's kind of like addictions tend to be like demons that are holding onto your back. Like they always call it like a monkey um, latched onto your back and, and it'll like tap on your shoulder. So and, and addictions, you can't really judge them until you've had one. It's like, um, um, how else can I explain it? Um, but whatever the case may be, it's looking like you're taking care of it now, whatever the issue was. You know what I'm saying? And if it's this person that you are turning over a new leaf for, it just requires praying. You know, maybe pray about your pray to God or whoever it is you pray to um, to call in your soulmate. You know, can you bring in my person? So you might just have to do a little bit of praying. Meanwhile, I feel like your person, they've this, they're deciding that they do want you. And you could be working on yourself right now, like I said. Um, whatever those addictions were. I mean, it didn't have to be you with addiction issues. You could have had, an, uh, you know, an addiction where you couldn't be alone. And now it's like, you know what? 
I can be by myself. You know, it's like now you're getting okay with being by yourself. There was just some sort of addiction here that's being sacrificed on your side. Um, it could have just been, you know, you always wanted and just whatever. Everybody's situation is different. But with the honeymoon card, this is a positive direction movement, positive direction forward. Is that right? Yeah. Positive movement forward. Positive, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm going to go and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.